Well, we see basketball media days here in Nashville as we get ready for the start of the 2016-2017 college basketball season. Visit with Jacksonville State women's coach Rick Petrie. You've been at it, what, two and a half weeks, three weeks, I guess, right now. Uh, practice so far, are you happy with where your team is at this point? Well, I think, you know, it's been a mixed bag. Practice has been a mixed bag. We've had some good days, and we've had some not-so-good days. <laughs> and so, and, and now, you know, we've had uh, we've had 18 practices. So we're, at, uh, uh, you know, re really at three, three and a half weeks. And once you get to practice 18, you're starting to get in the grind of it. And, 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 and your kids really want to try to play against somebody else other than themselves. So, um, uh, and, and that's coming. We have a, 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 an NCAA closed scrimmage that's coming up. And then, uh, then we do have the exhibition game on November the 6th against Miles. Uh, so, uh, so we're going to have some opportunities to, to measure ourselves against just some other people, which will help. And, uh, and it'll also give our kids an, an idea and an understanding of where they sit in the pecking order. Uh, you know, right now, everybody's getting plenty of practice time. You know, we've got 14 kids on scholarship. Everybody's getting plenty of time. Uh, it, it gets, it gets di different when only five get to be out there and nine have to be seated. It gets a little different. So, so that's going to uh, expose some things to, to, to some members of our roster, and then, then and we'll go from there. Well, the fact that you've got 14 available for practice is entirely different than what was going on this time last year. There's no doubt. Uh, you know, last year, and, and unfortunately for us, we're still dealing with some residue from last year. We still have some kids who were injured last year who still have issues because of those injuries from last year. And so that, that uh, uh, you would like to be able to just erase last year uh, off the cognitive map, but we really can't because, again, we've got some residue. Uh, now, some of our kids have returned completely healthy, and some of them are not. And so, and they're, 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 they're managing, they're trying to play through their injury, but their injury is a factor in who they, who they are and who they've become. So, so that, that, that's, again, that's unfortunate, but it's just the nature of what we're dealing with. And, and it's a lot better off. I mean, sometimes, I mean, people can't appreciate how, how bad last year was for us, where when the season ended, uh, when we got, got in the summertime out of 14 scholarship players at our first basketball workout in June, out of 14 scholarship players, we had five participating. So, uh, you know, virtually everybody on the roster had some type of injury that kept them out. And even if they played, they had an injury they had to deal with post-season that kept them out three to four months. So, um, so like I said, the good news is we've got some of them who are back at full strength. We've got some of them who are not. And uh, we'll just manage those. But that's also why we added you know, four new players when graduating two, instead of just two to replace the two, so that we had enough insurance with bodies that if some folks weren't right, able to go or couldn't go or go down, we've got enough uh, uh, insurance that we've got some more people so we don't get stuck in the same boat we were last year. You had to play some freshmen last year. The good news is they got experience, but also they, I guess, uh, an injury concern or two there. You get an all-conference player back in Destiny McLean, and then I guess another key is going to be Lacey Buchanan, who had to sit out NCAA transfer rules last year, but she'll play this year. And Kiki Patterson's another newcomer for you. I think that's going to have an impact, correct? Well, and, and I agree with with everything you said. You know, you get Destiny McLean back, who is a young lady who literally didn't pay, play basketball for almost 19 months. After we uh, played in the conference tournament in 2015, she didn't play play the sport again until the end of September. It's been a, she only been playing a month, uh, and, and fortunately, she's she's looking pretty good for a kid who missed 19 months of playing the game. Um, Lacey was with us all last year, so she's been kind of in the system, and uh, and and she's going to add some help to our roster. There's no doubt about that. And then from a junior college standpoint, Kiki Patterson has been impressive in practice, has impressed our, our veterans, uh, and so I, I do look for her as a newcomer to be somebody that, that has an impact on our roster. All right, last thing, middle of the packs where you're picked in the league, and you felt coming in that that was probably where you would be chosen because the folks above you basically returning their teams from last year. That's exactly right. When, you, you know, whenever you do preseason prognostication, the first thing you do is you look at what they've got coming back from last year. And uh, really the top five teams as they're picked have a significant portion of the roster back from last year. So it, it's, it makes sense that they would then be the top five picked again. It's logical. So, uh, you know, what our, uh, the members of our team need to do is look at where we picked and, and understand, you know, do we want to fulfill this as a reality or do we want to try to change it and make it better and, and, and make the reality that is the preseason, do we want to change that and not have that the re be the reality at the end of the season? 
Thank you, sir. Good luck this year. Thank you, Mike. Jacksonville State women's coach Rick Petrie. Again, the ladies will play an exhibition game. A chance for you to check them out on Sunday afternoon, November the 6th. It's a 3.30 tip-off against the ladies from Miles College. Free admission for that exhibition contest.